Here's uh, here's George in Atlanta. George, welcome to the EIB Network. Hello. Hey, hello, Rush. Thank you. Uh, Long time listener, first time caller. Great to have you here, George. Welcome. Thank you. Um, hey, I just wanted to know why our baller in chief isn't uh, touting the success of the midnight basketball programs that were put in place after the first time we had a bunch of riots. A yeah, while but you back. know why? Because the midnight basketball program doesn't exist anymore. Just like the hundred thousand cops doesn't exist anymore. I was not aware of that. Yeah, midnight. I don't think midnight basket. Midnight basketball is long gone. And why? What was the purpose of midnight basketball? It was to stop riots. But wait a minute. What? 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 It wasn't for the cops to play basketball. It was. It was. It was for residents of the neighborhood to play basketball at midnight instead of you know going against some cigarillos at a convenience store and play basketball. So it was a tantamount admission that if we give say, athletic activity, sponsorship, say, at midnight, mammal. But it wasn't it, it wasn't the cops to play midnight basketball. Now, there was also a companion program that followed shortly after. There's also a Clinton idea, and that was, remember his, I forget, that, I think it was 100,000 cops. Clinton had this big initiative. Really? You, you look at what's happening now. The Obama administration, the enemy, public enemy number one is cops. The cops, Eric Holder, is the occupying force in way too many of our communities. Oh, yes. The cops are intimidating. They're occupiers. I mean, it's just like a state-run media, state-run police force. And we've got to stop it. But back in the 90s, Bill Clinton thought we needed more cops. Yeah. We needed all kinds of we needed midnight basketball, and we needed more cops. So he had this plan, and I think it was 100,000 cops. It might... Okay, but but the, but it 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 sunsetted in five years because of the way it was written. The first year, a local police force could ask for new cops. They had to submit a request based on the need that they were to submit, and the federal government judged the applications. And if a community was judged to need a cop or three or whatever, the federal government paid for it. First year, second year, local community had to pay twenty percent. And by the fifth year, the local community had to pay all of it, which meant Clinton's 100,000 cops got fired after five years. Once the feds stopped paying the salaries and benefits, then the cops. So Clinton's program to add on it was nothing but symbolism over substance. But the real point of it is, those two, this guy, I'm, I'm, I'm glad old George here called. I had, Midnight basketball is an absolutely great reminder. When we had problems with crime in neighborhoods, a Democrat came up with the idea, well, we need to give these young people something to do at midnight rather than engage in crime. So midnight basketball. I remember making fun of it. All kinds of people had a lot of laughs with it. And I just want to stress, it wasn't the cops that, that, that needed to play midnight basketball to straighten up. It wasn't the cops that needed to burn off some energy here so that they were tired afterwards and went to bed. It was for the neighborhood, for the community. And the same thing with 100,000 cops. Look how far we've come here. From Bill Clinton, midnight basketball, and adding 100,000 cops to the current regime where the cops are an occupying force and are the enemy. The cops have almost become what the left thinks of when they think of the U.S. military, the focus of evil. I know, we did have grooming money. Children in the neighborhood could groom themselves before going on job interviews after uh, playing midnight basketball. Wait a minute. The store wasn't robbed at midnight. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. What? What?